Mangusta 80 from 2000, Maltese flag VIT paid. She is now offered for sale. We are going to make a full walkthrough video on board this boat. I'll take you through all the details. If you want to learn more about this boat, you can visit her webpage by using the link at the video description below. You can also find chapters at the video description below, which will allow you to skip from one part of the video to the other. Let's start. We are on the foredeck. We will start the video from here. As you can see, the boat is in winterizing condition, and that means that the cushions are stored uh, under deck. Uh, but they are all available and in good condition. I will try to show you some pieces as we go down. Here at the uh, tip of the foredeck, there is a windlass from Lufrance connected to 100 meter chain. Uh, there is a single anchor here. The crew accommodation in this boat is also located in, on the foredeck. We are going to make a quick uh, look snap inside. It's full with the cushions. As I just explained, there are two beds here, one here and one here. And on the starboard side, there is another bank can, that can be folded. So total of three crew. And in between the beds, there is a small bathroom with a sink, wet shower and toilet just behind the door. <clears throat> so here uh, there is a very big sunbathing area and uh, bimini you can see the inox frame which is holding the the bimini the boat uh, gel coat looks in very reasonable condition considering the fact that the boat is from 2000 Let's try to find. Uh, I think the hatches here are locked. So there are two storage places here and there for some cleaning materials and so on. Very big windows facing forward. This boat is a very fast boat, very powerful boat with uh, two Arison drives. So we are moving astern on the starboard side, a small uh, boarding gate here uh, with this one step and here we are on the on the main deck and from here we can see this open mangusta it has a huge space all around for sunbathing for uh, sitting and relaxing and as i said the cushions are stored let's go down and see uh, the details let's start from the stern now under this uh, hatch it's the entrance of the engine room which we are going to visit uh, as the last part of our video uh, two additional sunbathing areas here and on the other side and a very long uh, hydraulic passerelle uh, we can see also the water platform here at the back. This is a small garage with this uh, 3.6 uh, meter uh, Zodiac. It has a Yamaha 20 horsepower and this is the crane which will uh, allow to launch the dinghy into the water. It's long enough behind this uh, water platform. We will make our way inside and forward into the boat and check the details. Just before that, there are two um, capstans here in both sides from Lufrance um, with some bullards for mooring. Same on the other side. Moving forward and see this whole open deck from the opposite direction. Just in front of us is the way to the uh, cabins. We will visit them very soon. 
in here pop-up TV which can be displayed to the people who are sitting just behind me and a small uh, seating area down here box for shoes here from the port side passage there are a, there is a big refrigerator quite deep stainless steel and some storage spaces here is the uh, ice maker more storage same on the other side and underneath here there's a small sink and kind of a wet bar which you can uh, service uh, food and some working spaces moving uh, forward now you can see the the view forward through the windows now there are two openings in the bimini that you can open like that so if you need fresh air uh, or you need to look out without having the fabric or the glass so you can look forward and check the vicinity through these openings another one is placed there so this is the this is the helm station it's the only helm station on board and it's very detailed and everything is uh, quite accessible let's go very quickly uh, through the details here and see um, see the equipment so we have here a bow thruster up thruster and electrical steering this will replace the traditional wheel or become as an additional of course throttles wipers and lights depth sounder autopilot there are two uh, electronic units which are completely new one from simrad and one touch screen from raymarine <coughs> we can uh, see the rpms of the engines there are two mtus here uh, big mtus and these are the uh, digital uh, indicators for the mtus uh, so you can scroll and find uh, any details you need about the engine temperatures pressures and so on uh, there is a ship control uh, screen here which you can start generators stop generators this is the time to mention that there are two completely new uh, generators here uh, installed at the moment they have 300 hours each one with 20 kilowatts I will show you uh, these generators as we go and dive into the engine room so we are stepping few uh, steps back on our way to check the interior remove my shoes <coughs> and we are going through a quite steep uh, stairway about seven stairs down into the main salon let's have a quick look it's a beautiful salon very large surprisingly large uh, it's a full beam salon and it's in very good condition if you check the details closely which I'm going to try to show you with the camera starting from the table and some interior um, items as well as the ceiling which is in very good condition actually um, I'm pretty sure that the ceiling has been changed it's not the original it looks very fresh this light on the ceiling in the center and 
there forward a very big uh, TV screen from LG. Behind me, on the port side, there is a bar, very nice uh, bar place with a storage place all around, storage spaces all around. There is a <clears throat> electronic unit here for um, music systems, uh, some spices, beverages, napkins, quite generous place for uh, storage. And from here, we will go forward to check the master cabin. Then again, the in condition of the interior of the original wood, which is a beautiful uh, uh, craftsmanship of wood. The Mangusta uh, brand is famous for quality. It's a very, very robust boat, very strong boat. And here we are in the master cabin, which is full beam. It is very clean cabin. It looks in very good condition. Storage places all around. Hanging locker on the other side. Additional space. Small seating area here. Another hanging locker and some drawers underneath. And facing the bed, there is a big TV screen. Just in front of the camera. And there is an ensuite here, separated by the door. You can uh, see the a very big sink with white marble, the floor, <clears throat> and a very, very large shower, super clean, and has no bed smells. Now, the toilet for this cabin is totally separate which I personally prefer and like. It has toilet and bidet and additional sink for hand washing or tooth brushing. And then again, additional storage space around. The boat is super clean and super well maintained. So this is, this is the door which separates the master cabin from the main salon. Going back into the salon, and that's a good chance to see this salon from the opposite angle. <clears throat> and moving astern, this is the stairway that we enter the boat and I'm turning left, which is starboard side and let's check the galley. It's not a very big galley, but it seems very functional. <coughs> Working spaces. Okay, so there is a fridge here in addition to the fridge that I showed uh, on the main deck, it's about domestic size, large domestic size one, freezer. Underneath here, there is a dishwasher, working space, coffee machine, storage places, sink with additional area to dry the dishes. 
uh, here we have a microwave place for cutlery and down here oven for millet and stove with four burners induction for millet there is a small additional folding table here if you need additional working space or if you are having a sandwich or one of the crew is having a sandwich good place to put it <coughs> and that's about it uh, floor very clean not cracked and we are back into the main salon and we are turning left astern to see the cabins as I explained in the intro the boat is in winterizing condition so we will not be able to see the cabin fully because they are full with cushions uh, here is the first cabin on the port side with a very large double bed it's going all the way down there and the cushions and the upholstery is in new condition this is the upholstery of the external cushions but at least we have a chance to see it uh, here we have very good light so you can see also the ceiling which has been renewed over the year and looks pretty much new storage place for personal belongings oops hanging a locker and drawers underneath there is a small TV here for the ones who are using the bed and here is the ensuite of this cabin reasonable size shower um, sink with a white marble beautiful marble around it toilet and storage space all around window which can be opened when condition allows place to hang a towel and we are moving forward on this tour back into the cabin you can see the woodwork again here which is fantastic well maintained well preserved over the years no fadings I'm also pretty much sure that the, it has been varnished and kept in this condition and we are back into this small corridor behind this small door uh, there is a storage place for towels uh, bed sheets and underneath there is a washing machine and a ironing board and here we are visiting the last cabin which is a twin cabin with two large beds the beds in this boat are exceptionally large a very spacious cabin then again you can see the cushions from outside that belongs to the outside sunbathing areas as you saw there are plenty of them outside so there are plenty of them here for the storage and they are in new condition again the condition of the interior is immaculate another thing in this boat is a pullman bed in this cabin this one will fold down and will create uh, the third cabin so that will make the seven guests sleeping on board possible um, this is the ensuite of this twin cabin very good size uh, shower uh, with a small sitting uh, or controllers very nice special uh, handles and tabs these gold things not everyone will like it but it's definitely pretty um, design toilet and that's about it for this cabin uh, underneath here there are sea bobs two sea bobs and I think one uh, electrical surfboard I'm not sure that they are part of the sale uh, 
we will have to check it with the owner so we are stepping out of the cabin back into this uh, small corridor and we are moving out making our way back to see the last part of the boat which is the engine room galley and we are climbing back to the open area and let's go and dive into the engine room and check the details there so here we are uh, in the engine room of the Mangusta 80 quick look around just to understand the volume and size of it now in the heart of this uh, engine room there are two 3000 horsepower engines from uh, MTU these engines at the moment has uh, very low engine hours uh, the boat has not been very intensively used during her lifetime it's less than 1000 I will give the exact detail in the video description below at the web page uh, the consumption of these engines is 450 liters per hour at 30 knots that will give you a range of about 360 uh, miles uh, nautical miles uh, on this speed but of course uh, if the speed will be reduced uh, to 20 the uh, range can be uh, doubled <coughs> this is the look from the other side let's uh, dive into other details there is a water maker at the front there in the corner uh, water pumps uh, fresh water pumps 24 volts and 220 uh, this is a compressor unit for uh, the deck refrigerator uh, in both sides here there are two boilers for hot water one here and one there some uh, piping for the um, bow thruster hydraulic bow thruster underneath here you can see the bilge pump and the fire pumps and the boat has two totally new generators have been replaced early this year two color two colors unit uh, each with 20 kilowatts which are placed here one here and one here and uh, as i said they are, they are brand new uh, this round thing there is a stern thruster um, uh, the engine room is not very large but still allowing uh, quite good access and quite good quite uh, comfortable uh, access to every place um, electrical panels are here and that's about it So that was the Mangusta Open 80. Uh, if you need to learn more about this boat, I welcome you to visit our webpage. Uh, you will find the link to it at the video description below. Beautiful, powerful boat, uh, which has a lot of uh, sunbathing areas, open space, great boat to use in the summer and has beautiful cabins as well.